Hello! Welcome to, um, another episode of Dragon Quest. Also, sorry about the lighting. It's very dark in here, because you won't be able to see me very easily. But, anywho, let's, uh, go. I really like how you can ride on this thing. Well, my defense has been lowered. Ow, that's nasty! Let's fight more zombies while we're at it. He's a trooper. He stay living. Let's go. Let's I'll make another one of these on the way back. I just need to put it on. No, I'm just going to wear. Th I'm just going to wear this and give it back to the guy. I mean, I won't break. It. <laughs> I won't break it. As if these items do break. What is this fire emblem? Because we uh, keep on using the weapons that we always use. Oh, never mind. That answers my question. I had a bad feeling about this. Oh, never mind. I really didn't want to fall through the floor again. Who else wants some? That's a little too bright. Revert to default. Yes. Hey, 
a mini metal. I suppose it can't be helped. When you're in something so dark, you can't see anything. Nope. I don't trust it one bit. Like, there was a tra- um... No, it was on the other side! I believe. That's where the leaf- I mean, that's where the leaf- I mean, that root is. Jesus, I keep seeing blue blinking lights. Is my game breaking for some reason? I don't trust it. Fuck! You are so nasty. No, I don't need it. I know it's iron ore, but I really don't need it. Uh, yes, I do need it! Oh, they're both bad! Okay. Now I don't have to go through those. Well, uh, we already went through them. So it's safe to say that both of them are bad. Those pathways have been blocked off. Silver platter. That's one heck of a fountain to be hidden away down here. 
There she is. Wait, over there. <laughs> Serena, wake up. It's me, Veronica. Mm -hmm. That's your sister. Serena! We said we'd always be there for each other, didn't we? Well, I'm here for you now. So put yourself together! She's not dead. Oh, I'm ever so sorry. It's just I... Well, I was so awfully tired after all that searching that I needed a nap and... So you decided to sleep on the ground? Veronica! It, is that really you? What in the world has happened to you? But how did you know it was me? <laughs> We've been sisters a long time, you know. It would take a lot more than a new look to fool me. <laughs> I mean, there. Okay. She was sleeping on the ground and all, but there are better places to sleep. Like there are better places for a lo lovely lady such as yourself, Serena, to sleep. Seriously. Oh yes, very funny. What were you doing lying on the ground like that? I, I thought you were, well, that you were, you know. Dead. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt the reunion, but didn't you tell us Serena was your kid sister? <laughs> well, if you want to get technical about it, actually we're twins. But we don't look the same age anymore because, well, it's all a bit complicated. I told you I was taking off my monsters, didn't I? They've been kidnapping people so they can steal their magical powers. Well, I wasn't going to let them have mine without putting up a fight. But the more I resisted, the younger I got. I don't quite understand it, but instead of draining my magic, they drain my... age. <gasps> what I'm basically saying is that I'm not a child. So stop treating me like one. Okay, we get it, we get it. You're not a kid. But you still look like one. Don't you want to do something about it? <laughs> of course I do. Why do you think I brought you here? I want you to help me clobber those stupid monsters and see if we can fix this. You will help us, won't you? I promise to do my bit as well. I have some really rather wonderful healing spells, you know. In case we get got, yeah, we uh, just need to help us out here. We need to beat up more monsters again, because we're not on the appropriate level. Excuse me, can I mess around with the camera a little bit?
Umbra Kadumbra. Are you potty? You come here and tell Jarvis that you let that lovely, juicy specimen escape, and you think an apology's gonna cut it? Sorry. Ooh, this jars. Do crackpots think sorcerers like Veronica come along often? Do you have any idea what we'll have to do to nab a specimen like that again? <sighs> you knew I wanted to train all her magic so I could earn the Lord of Shadow's respect when he came back. All my plans shattered. The point of shadows. That's them. They're the monsters who jumped me in the bathhouse and brought me here. See that child by the big fat one? That's what he was sucking all my magic powers into. Then I guess we'd better figure out how to get them back. This one, whether we like it or not. Hey, hold on. Uh, uh, I think the big fat. Uh, I think the big fat one got something that I need. I need to get it. So, Eric, I need you to do something for me. Let's do this. You just steal from Jarvis here. What's your slime? Aw, oh, he didn't care. It doesn't have anything. I mean, what do you guys have to have something? Well, you know what? Let's just kick their. Let's just beat the snout out of them so we don't have to waste Let's much time this. here. Thank you. Belly the hell out of me! Hey, don't hit Serena!
Heal him up now! There you go. Gosh. How about I do this one? He's almost dead. Oh, God. Get some. Ooh, that's a lot of experience points and a lot of gold. I'll take it. <sighs> oh, I'll never be the Lord of Shadow's right hand man if I can't even beat the lights of you lot. <sighs> All my dreams shattered. Who is this Lord of Shadows you keep mentioning anyway? Mordigan? <laughs> You'll find out soon enough when everything finally goes to pot. <sighs> yeah, we'll be waiting for him too. A lot more stronger than he'll ever be. We'll find out soon enough, huh? Right. Time to get my magic back. Well, she's still the same size. But you look just the same. We're all our efforts for nothing. <laughs> no need to worry on that front. I can feel the old magic zinging from the ends of my pigtails right down to the tips of my toes. Why do you still look like a little girl? Oh. I'm not really sure. I suppose whatever made me younger can't be fixed just by getting my powers back. But it could be worse. I mean, you know what they say. You're only young. Twice. Trust you to see the funny side. Well, I suppose I'd better get used to having a twin sister half my size. You have noticed who we're traveling with, haven't you? Of course I have. And so have you, it seems. Shall we? Mm -hmm. Bold luminary, Yggdrasil's chosen. Long have we waited to greet you. We of Arborea swear to protect you. While we live, none shall defeat you. But there are those who would accuse you of bringing disaster on our world. Please, you must rest assured that they are wrong. You are a hero. The light in your eyes, the light told of in the legends of Arborea, it proves that beyond a doubt. <laughs> I knew it was you the moment I saw you. So now you have magical twins swearing to serve and protect you? I guess you really are the luminary, huh? And not that I ever doubted it, of course. 
course. There's plenty more we need to talk about, but we have to take care of something first. I wasn't the only one they were keeping prisoner, you know. Now, if I remember rightly, there should be a door around here somewhere. Treasure chests of some sort around here. Gosh, look at all these cells. What a horrid place. Yeah, even when it's dark and you can't see. Hey, who's there? Cronies. <laughs> Thanks! I owe you one. I was starting to worry they were going to get sick of feeding me and decide to eat me instead. You were starting to worry? And what about your poor little daughter on her own? Hmm? How do you think she's been feeling? Oh, I'm sorry. I wasn't thinking. Wait. You know Connie? We do. And she's fine, thanks for asking. The owner of the bar back in town is looking after her. He's a mature, responsible adult, you see. Listen, I appreciate your help, really, I do. I'll know her, by the way. If there's anything I can do to repay you, just say the word. No, uh huh? Where have I heard that name before? Oh, look, I've taken up enough of your time. I should, uh, get back and see how uh, Connie's doing. <laughs> Thanks a million. Well, he certainly left in rather a hurry. Don't get caught in those... That again? Very fishy. Well, never mind. We should head back too. We deserve a rest. Yeah. Me and my companions made their way out of the labyrinth and head back to Hato, where they spent the night at the end. Then morning comes. in Arborea. It says that one day the Dark One will descend to extinguish the light, but that Yggdrasil's chosen, the Luminary, bearer of the Mark of Light, will rise to meet him. I know 
it's hard to believe. I mean, look at you. But it's true. You're the reincarnation of the Luminary, the man who defeated the Dark One long ago. I still can't work out why they'd need to bring you back if the Dark One was defeated, to be honest. But ours is not a reason why. Once we fulfill our sacred duty and get you to Yggdrasil, I'm sure all will be revealed. Hmm. Yggdrasil, huh? Well, I for one want to know what the heck's going on. Let's mosey on over there. Have you ever tried thinking before opening your big mouth? In case you hadn't noticed, Yggdrasil is floating in the sky. Mosey, he says. Honestly. They say that the Luminary visited the World Tree before his battle with the Dark One. But alas, the legends do not tell us how. What? Not even you special protectors of the magical ancient wonder truths know? Bummer. Yggdrasil, Yggdrasil, Yggdrasil. Wait, I think I might have an idea. Really? What is it? You know that guy we bust out of jail yesterday? I remember where I know him from. He sells information to, uh, people in my profession. And you think he might know how we can reach the world tree? Wonderful! Well, what are we waiting for? To the bar! First, I need to do something before we continue with the story. things down there. Not really. When you want to play a game to its full con uh, full extent, you gotta find a lot of stuff. Are you alright? Wow, I didn't think I'd find the perfectionist pearls. That's the woman who lost her son later in the game. Oh, I can't go through here yet. That sucks. I was gonna find some something sweet in here. But I'll do that later in the in this game. It's gonna take me a while to find a lot of stuff that needs to be found.
is that guy? towards the bar. I'm gonna, make, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and make my way over there. But I gotta get out of this cutscene first. Come on, Daddy! Let's go! The nice man who keeps bringing me drinks must be getting tired. Just... one more for the... Oh, sweetie, you never know. He might have some more gossip that I need to hear. Wow, he's pretty <laughs> he's pretty tipsy. Fishing for rumors, huh? Some things never change. Mm -hmm. You're Noah, right? In the circles I used to move in, you were pretty famous. You were the guy who knew things for the right price. No nugget of knowledge too big or too small. Noah the know-it-all knows them all. <laughs> That's what they used to say, huh? <laughs> well, what if they did? I can't help it if juicy tidbits have an habit of falling in me lap now, can I? Well, I don't go trying to get mixed up in this stuff. It just happens. Like when I mistookenly went in the ladies' baths and then monsters they kidnapped me. I only stuck my head in there to see what all the commotion was, and there they was, attacking some poor girl. Normally, I would have won up the lot of them, of course, but I just had me tea. The villains collared the both of us and, well, I just hope she's all right. <laughs> she... kind of. Anyway, we were wondering if you might be able to help us out. What do you know about Idrisen? Crikey! You lot don't do things by us, do ya? Got a big score in mind, eh? Well, seeing as how you saved me life, I'll tell you what I know. On the way here, Connie and me was travelling across the desert when we came down with a bad case of heat stroke. We didn't have no grub left, no water, nothing. we just about given up hope. But then, these soldiers from Galopolis came along. Next thing I know, I'm waking up in a Sultan's Bleeding Palace. Oh! Talk about lucky. Anyway, when I come to, that's when I seen it. Beautiful it was. This rainbow colored branch thing. All shimmery and beautiful. <coughs> well, I know top end gear when I see it. If that weren't a branch of the old world tree, I'm a monkey's uncle. Did you hear that, Veronica? A branch from Idrisil herself? Yes. Lighting the path ahead for the Luminary. It sounds like we need to take a trip to Galopolis. So it turns out you are capable of having ideas that aren't completely stupid after all. We should head for the desert right away. It's beyond the checkpoint southwest of here. That marks the border with Galopolis. I do hope you won't mind us tagging along. We of Arborea swear to protect you. While we live, none shall defeat you. Yay, we got Veronica and Serena on our team. I'll take good care of the both of you. I promise. Here, you'll need this to get to Galopolis. Galopolis Pass. The <clears throat> guards at the checkpoint are awful sticklers for formalities, but if you show them that, they should let us through. Ah, oh, there 
our lower levels. That's okay. start on this just yet. I'll leave the character builder stuff alone for right now. Veronica now. I'll have to give these to uh, Serena for right now. I only found those from somewhere else. Now let's go uh, meet that guy. make my leave. Just remember something important. We have a long journey ahead of us, don't we? Well, I happen to know a handy little spell that make life a lot easier for us. Just give me a minute. Zim? Oh, thank you, Veronica. You can use the spell. I just taught you to travel back to anywhere you've been before, quick as a flash. So if you want to come back here to Hato, for example, just cast Zoom, think of Hato, and you'll be back, uh, back here just like that. Right, now you've got that little beauty in your bag of tricks, let's go and find this Yggdrasil branch, shall we? Galapagos is southwest of here. Come on. Mix it up. <laughs> 
Did that thing just hit that guy? Or am I crazy? Cause I just I just heard the 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 she slime hit the thing. Like that thing just hit the thing before I even got uh got a chance to hit it. Hey you stupid bird! Are you looking at me? He doesn't even know I'm up here. Hey, he doesn't even Hey! Well, can't get it. She looks so adorable in that little piglet outfit. Man, when will, uh, when will I get to see adult Veronica? Not saying that I don't like the younger Veronica, she's just awesome. The dust. Uh, let's camp here for the night. I need to forge. Accessories. Um. Not right now. Not right now. I have one of these in, uh, in my, uh, satchel. want to rework my big old claymore here. <sighs> should have made a better like I should have like Made one instead of buying one. And I'm making one now. Because I don't care anymore. I literally don't. on this one. Oh, I made it worse!
Oh, that's much better. Okay, let's get out of here. Now I have a better one, instead of the one I bought. And I'm gonna use that one that I made. And throw the other one that I made back, uh, and throw the other one, uh, that I have back in this guy's face. Because I don't want it anymore. So, uh, here you go. Take your stupid clay- uh, take your stupid claymore. I got me one. I will do that. Weird bunnies.
And also, what I said in the very first episode, I'm going to get stronger on camera and off camera. Jesus! the seeds just yet. I don't want to get very desperate and try to make Serena's defense better. I don't want to do that. She'll be fine. I promise. But I like how she slaps people in the face with the wand. <laughs> Step in to save the day. Uh, ticking, uh, ticking tongues. Time is low and screwy up. Oh, the clock won't stop. It really is five minutes to midnight. If only there was someone who could come to our aid. <clears throat> hold a tick. Wait, hey, hold on a tick. You've clucked me, am I right? Can it be true? Can you really see me? Yes. Well, it's about time. I was beginning to think I was totally invisible. This can only mean one thing. You're a hero, aren't you? Oh, tickety-boo. You are finally here. It's not a moment too soon. It's a pleasure to meet you, Mr. Hero. My name's Ickle. I'm a Tockle from over Ticking Tong Way. And we need your help. We're having a terrible time of it at the moment. Can I ask you to come and be the hero of our hour? Ooh, thank you, Mr. Hero. I knew it would I knew it wouldn't take you more than a moment's thought to agree. Uh Luminary <laughs> Uh me? Who are you hey, are you talking to yourself now? No, I'm actually talking to an invisible ticket uh, the invisible tackle. Has the sun gone to your head or something? Well, the clock is ticking, come on. It's time to show you and your friends the way to ticket on. Follow me! Oh, but wait! Before we head off, this might be a good time to record your journey in an adventure log. <laughs> the the other well, I don't think they can actually uh, see the other uh, see these things, so uh, they really can't, and that's a shame.
ticking time. Hold on, what just happened? Things went all wavy and suddenly. We're in this weird vi uh, village. Oh look, he's so adorable, but who is he? TikTok, it looks like you've clipped me too. You must, uh, you must be Mr. Hero. Here's friends. <clears throat> Welcome to Ticking Tom, a place that's just a little bit out of the ordinary. Normally, only certain special people can see us as tackle types. But the second even ordinary folks set foot here in our home, they can see us too. Uh, I think we might need a little background here. Like, who are you? Where are we? Why the heck are we here? You know, just the small stuff. How about you start from the beginning? The beginning? Yes, yes, of course, the beginning. Tickety-boo, allow me to explain. We are the Tacos, and we live here in the village of Ticking Ton. It's a very special, peculiar place, where time flows a little differently from the way it does in Erdria. Erdria. It's our sworn duty to make sure the time flows as it should. That past, present, future are all in the right order. And that all is unfolding as intended. In the other words, we make sure everything's tickety-boo. And hang on a tick. I need to tell the bear you're here. Why don't we let him explain the rest? Just head upstairs and you'll find him in the very special place we call Echo Chamber. So come on, shake a leg, the clock's ticking, and there's no time like the present. Well, at least Veronica's in her, uh, <laughs> actual outfit that I put her in. I need to do something. Eric. Your uniform, I... Oh my god! He's in his too! Let's save. Oh, he's asleep? Well, that sucks. Well, hold on, I want to change out of my outfits too. So, let me, um... Just to take a look at it. Oh my god, that looks awesome! Nothing's like actually in here. Mine's just not herb. You really are the luminary, aren't you? I clocked it <clears throat> the second you arrived in the village. There's just something different about you. But don't let me take up any more of your time. The mayor is waiting up in the echo chamber, and he's ever so keen to meet you.
TikTok. Look who I've got. It's the Luminary. And not a moment too soon. Ah, what a marvelous timing. Welcome to Ticking Tong. My name is Stickle. And I am the mayor of this fine place beyond space and time. Now the clock is ticking, so I will be brief. My people have a secret mission, and that is why we have sought you out. Take a look at the tomes that sit on the altars around us. And these volumes are inscribed the tales of hollowed heroes of, from other worlds and other ages. Oh, you mean from the whole Dragon Quest series? No flipping way. Since time is immemorial, the, du uh, the duty of my people has been to guard these books and to ensure that the great deeds of the past live on in the present. That is why we created the place where we now stand, by the Echo Chamber, there's a sacred space where the adventure logs of all the hollow heroes of old can be kept safe from the ravages of time. Or so we have thought. But this holy haven has been sullied by, by an unknown miscreant who took it upon themselves to tear whole pages from our beloved books and deliberately daub others with ink. And I'm afraid I have no idea who committed such heinous cr uh, who committed this heinous crime, but I do know that it is as things stand the heroic happenings of this place risk being lost forever. History itself hangs in the balance. Which is where you come in, as a hero of your own age. I must ask you to right this wrong. I must ask you to plunge into each of these volumes to set time on the right path once more. But before you dive in, you must first learn the secret incarnate uh, incantations that will enable you to turn back the clock, the passwords. Sadly, these were long since scattered across Erdria. This being so, I have entrusted my most dependable Tockles with the mem uh, momentous task of, seeing, hey, of seeking them out. Sorry. Should you find one of my friends here in the course of, tra of your travels, stop a moment and speak with them. With luck, they will have learned the words that will enable you to journey th through the pages of ages. Sorry, I'm a little bit bad on reading, but please bear with me, okay? When you have learned one, you will be able to return here and visit the very legends of the greatest heroes known to space and time. Now, if I'm not becoming confused in my old age, young Ickle managed to find a password just the other day. Come, my little TikTok tyke. Share what you have learned with our friend. Yes, sir. TikTok. Let's make this quick. Yes, before my mouth gets very dry. Now prick your eye. Uh, hey, now prick up your ears, because I'll say this only once. Ooh, I learned a password. Now you can visit the altar of religions. Okay. Strike time on your side and take a closer look at the altar over there. Oh, down here? Oh, God. dead.
Okay, um... Since we're in a 2D world, um, we might want to speed things up here. Manual? No, how about fast? Oh, Jesus. Ooh, another slime drop. Weird. Ow. Ow. Oh my god, I'm almost dead, Jesus Christ. I'm not. I'm not going to be able to. I'm not going to be able to read this. So, just you know, look with your eyes and not with your ears. Another lamplight. <laughs> that sucks, I can't use, uh, you know, what... Evac? Wait a minute. Seed of therapeu- uh, Therapeusis? I think that's a- I love... Um... Mouthful kinds of words. That's the word I'm looking for. Jesus! Oh my god! Me and Eric are close to death. So, uh... Let's, uh, put the, put our shit back on. Auto-equipped. That's X-ray.
not see enemy? No, not. We're just leveling up slowly now. Ah, screw this. I'm put, uh... That vest. Like Eric, I'm having you put on the the elevate. Well, I'm putting on the elevating vest. Well. Eh? Is that a human? You've come here, uh, you've come to hear me play, right? What are you brag- uh, what are you banging on about? You want me to give the liar back- <clears throat> uh, Back after all the trouble I went through to snare it? Fat chance of that. This thing is great. I'm a bit- I'm a bit of a misfit among the- Bongo banging brethren, you see, my rhythm's all over the place, and I can't sing for a toffee. <clears throat> all I ever want is an audience that appreciates something a bit different. Now all I have is to do it. Eh, now all I have to do is to strum the lyre, <clears throat> and I. And a whole bunch of alternative music fans show up to kick it with me. I never had so much fun. So if you're going to have to try, so if you're going to try and make me give it back, I'm going to have to beat you black and blue. Drum roll, please. Oh, these things. Fuck them up. Oh, he's brought minions! Oh, this is bad. Well, he's dazzled. And he's dead. Your defense, uh, your agility is lowered. And we're shocked to death. And we're, um, well, Eric and Veronica is unable to act. So this is bad. It's just me and Serena on this one. God. He's dazzled. Is it really a good time to tell me that? Okay, he's dead. Good. Very good. Eric's level up to level 15. Skill points. Uh, Veronica's level up to level 13. Good. She's learned Bang. Frizz uh, fizzle. Also, Serena's level to level. Uh, leveled up to level 13. That's good. Well, at least you can keep up with your little, uh, your, um, bigger sister now. On my file, you were mildly behind on level ups. And I had to get you all the way up to level 99, sweetie. Now it's, it's just only me. I have to level up, too. No. Hold on, I want to see what... It's dark and silent ahead. It doesn't seem like a good idea to go any further. Why not? I can take it. Ugh. 
whatever. Here you are. And everything's back to their old, uh, old self again. Whoops. I'm not telling him that I stole his treasure. <laughs> I want to go down there, damn it! Wait a minute. Oh shit. Okay, make it back. I uh, made it back. Ah, so you have returned. Oh, and what tales do you have to? And what tales do you have to regale with me, eh, with me this time, hmm? <laughs> Goodness me. Gal- uh, Galanum. <clears throat> These are big words. Thank god I love them. <laughs> They're big names, too. Galanum. I Galanholm. Was besot I was besieged by monsters, you said. Hmm. Perhaps these are uh, merely the musings of an old man, but I have a feeling that the vandal who defaced our beloved books may be attempting to rewrite history itself. But as long as you are able to visit each of the heroic ages, right the wrongs that have been uh, wrought here proper flow of time will be restored soon enough. In which case, you'll need to continue to seek out and speak with all the Tockals who are traveling the length and <clears throat> breadth of Erdria in search of passwords. The more of them you learn, the more ancient ages will be able to visit. Uh, you'll be able to visit. If anyone can find them all, and put things right, it's you. It's time for you to shine, dear hero. As Tockles, our sacred mission has always been able to assure that the great deeds of the past remain intact for the sake of the future. But we need your help, please. History itself hangs in the balance. Yeah, let's go look for these guys. <laughs> I'm going to deposit some gold here. How about... Okay, we made it back to our world now. But 
please forgive me of my hideous display of reading. Ugh. My mouth is super dry when it comes to reading a lot of words. Monsters before we head off, uh, get back into the story. crits yet.
thinking here. Let's do this. possible chance that we may run into uh, liquid slimes. I mean, metal slimes. Where the hell did that thing go? Oh, there you are. Oh, God! Should have been worried about, um... Metal sl uh, like, Metal Slash was in here. Yep, there it is. But that's okay. Run? Oh, you're staying. The other one runs! God damn it. Yes, it's dead. Yeah, these things die in four hits. But they have high evasion when the game gets a lot more serious. Oh yeah. I just keep getting better. Oh goody. Okay. Ooh. Oh, ex I don't level up. It sucks. Yeah. But like I said before, if uh, they keep running away, just keep fishing them out until they decide to fight. Do not let a single one get away. <gasps> Cold! Poor Eric is just laughing his lungs out. Another one bites the dust. 
Okay, I made it to level 16. Good. That's really good. And I learned snooze. <gasps> A rousing ring? How come I didn't pick this up from uh, from the first time I encountered a gold thing? Oh, this is bad. Ow! Protagonist voice. I'll. I'm actually going to have myself be a part of this since my name is the hero, after all. Just trying to find these darn metal slimes. Has to be more. It can't be. It can't be it. That is my favorite line from Veronica. That is my favorite line, dude. Who 
else wants some? <laughs> Oh, you wake up, huh? Another gold one. Yeah. Big swings for Pelvy Hanks. Ah, I got ya. Oh, come on! <laughs> oh no! Fucking sorry! No! I never <laughs> Oh, we're gonna die. <laughs> Ugh, you motherfucker! I got ya! Oh, shit! It's just me now! <laughs> you will not stop me! <laughs> He's just... Ow, oh, you piece of garbage! Oh! <laughs> I'm dead. God damn it. That's such bullshit! That motherfucker wasted us! Save from the uh, from the latest save. Last auto save. Well, that's my first death. That fucker really killed us, huh? All right. some. <laughs> Damn, Veronica. You showed him who's boss. That that goes to show you. Don't trip. Uh, do not knock Veronica on her behind. Otherwise, she'll actually just get, like, just kill you permanently. Okay, the boomerang part, I will not level up. I mean, I will not, uh, extend. This, however, I will. Looking bunny. <clears throat> Mazangif does not wear uh, wrestling masks. He 
He's got a lot of muscle, I'll tell you that much. We're going to keep murdering more motherfuckers until I actually, uh, get back at the golden cactiball. Because I'm pissed. Very pissed. just did. I did not think at all. <sighs> he murdered us real good, too. He was almost dead. I would have won that anyways. See. Dazzle. Well, Dazzle really don't. Oh, well, Dazzle will make the enemy most likely miss. But I just thought of it. Just. I thought of it can injure itself, but no, that's, that's only for the, uh, that's only, that will most likely happen if, if the enemy happens to get confused. those metal slimes! Jesus! She just slapped the thing silly. Wonderful. She just went all the way over there to just slap him silly. Oh 
god. Veronica's getting it the worst. Oh no, did I? Fuck. Since I died, I won't be able to get that item that I retrieved from one of the golden uh, cactus balls back. Do I still have it? I don't have it. Huh? When did I get this? I don't remember getting this. That's dog shit now. I'm gonna have to go back and get... get it. Oh, I didn't realize she had a bro uh, bronze lungs. Video game, I'm going to kill you! Fucker. Let's go. Don't run, please do not run. Okay. Okay, that's good. Okay. Both are taking damage. Two. Two. Fuck! Sorry. Ha! Easy. I leveled up, but it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't fill me with happiness. It really doesn't. Oh yeah! You level up to level 16. I feel better than ever! I'm not satisfied with that. Okay! One, two, only one, one. God, come on! Oh, yes, it's dead. Good. Both of you are caught up. That's well. Uh, that's really good. Hey, there's one of them. Okay. Where are 
are those? And uh, where is that motherfucking? Run away like a little bitch! Another one bites the dust. Another one bites the dust. Oh, excuse me. Please be a golden castle ball. Let's go. God damn it! Get out here now! Get that golden cactuball out here! Its family is trying to keep it away from harm's way! Oh, there you are! Alright, let's get our little comeback on this motherfucker. But, uh... Let's, let's uh... Look at something, please. things up, please. Let's keep at it. Keep them guessing. <laughs> you motherfucker! Piece of garbage. That's for killing us the first time. Time we wasted uh, wasted so many hours, but still, I do this just to, like I do this to beat the game more excessively and proficiently. 
here we are in the beautiful city of Galopolis. why we're here, in case you've forgotten. Oh, let Mr. Moody no fun go off on his own if he wants. There's nothing to stop us having a little look around while we're here. <clears throat> Meanwhile, I'm going to... No, I don't want to buy more weapons just yet. I want to try to find something. Oh, damn doors lock. I have to go to the puff puff lady here. But I don't want to do that just yet. There's got to be something in here. Like, I'm trying to, like, find a recipe or some sort. Wait a minute. Jackpot! to go find the other one. side.
walk on the wild, uh, wild side. Okay, um, I'm gonna have to close this up for now. I will do more of this next time. Um, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and also thank you for watching. <clears throat> I need to put this in my inventory so that way I'll have Just one. Uh, fennel. But yeah. Thank you guys for watching. And also, if you haven't seen the other episodes of uh, Dragon Quest XI, be sure to uh, help yourself. Knock yourself out. Meanwhile, I'm going to be getting strong. And all of you. I mean, meanwhile, me and, the, and my crew are going to get strong. So, uh, see you later!